Yo, it's me, uh, and it's another weekly reading vlog. It's about 10 to 9 on uh, Sunday the 20th of March. I'm currently in my mum's house, hence the green background. I am reading, oh, A Brief History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. I'm about 100 pages from the end. I am enjoying it. Uh, probably going to be a 4 out of 5 unless some drastic, drastic changes, you know. Uh, and then after that, I'm probably going to read at home, which is good timing because I'm travelling home tomorrow. So... I will update you tomorrow. Dane reads. Hello internet people, it is me. It is uh, quarter past eight on Monday the 21st of March. I'm tired. In fact, I might go for a power nap in a minute. I have a call at nine though. So I don't know, I didn't sleep too well last night. Um, yeah, so I stayed at my mum's, got my last few bits and stuff done there. Um, had a bath which was nice and then this morning I woke up about 11 after going to sleep about 3 a.m. something like that uh, went for lunch with my granddad my mum Biggie and my uncle Carl um, and then headed immediately home I got in bang on four o'clock and I had a Q&A for a client between four and five so uh, then I went and did that um, and then I've just been being productive ever since mostly unpacked now Biggie come on as you can tell, the cat is having his meows because he likes to have a nice meow. Uh, on the way back, I finished reading uh, A Complete History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. That was a four out of five. I'm now reading At Home by Bill Bryson, which is almost a companion book. Basically, in the last one, it was all about the sciences. And in this one, he's talking about like home life and the evolution of all of that. So at the moment, he's talking about servants and things like that. It's quite interesting. Another big old book. So that will take me a while to get through. Um, I had June, the next June book arrived in the post today, um, and I got Wizard of Oz, so I'm back up to nine currently reading, and I need to order another book, so I'll do that sort of shortly. And I think that's all I've got. As I say, I got this call from nine till 10 p.m., which I'm gonna struggle to stay awake for. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I guess I'll try my best. Oh, greetings everybody. As you can see, I'm covered in paint. It is Tuesday, the 22nd of March. It is 20 past nine. We had the hottest day of the year so far today. So I spent, I sat out in the garden with my laptop, working on my laptop, um, painted three of the seven currently standing fence panels in the garden. Obviously we need to get the others replaced before I can paint those. I'm also now thinking I might paint the neighbor's shed. I might ask him for permission and do that. Just because otherwise it's the only thing that hasn't been freshly painted so it kind of stands out. Um, but it's looking really good out there. I posted some photos of it to my Dane's Urban Garden Instagram account, which I will link to below. So yeah, that's that's been good. I had a barbecue as well. Um, and I did some repotting and various outsidey work. So the only thing I have left to do on my list outside at the moment, I got, I've got some paint remover. So I'm gonna try and get up some of the paint that's went onto the concrete. So we'll see how that goes. Kinda need to get a, like a wire brush as well. In fact, okay Google, Remind me to buy a wire brush in one hour. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Um, I've ordered some more paint, so that's on its way. I've ordered some more compost because I got some more big pots in the in the post today, so that was good. Um, other than that, I haven't done a huge amount, so I'm now kind of catching up with bits, doing a little bit of filming now. I got my radio show out earlier. I did an interview for my radio show as well, so that was good. Um, I've got indoor housework to do, although not too much because the cleaner came round today. So that's good. And I have lots of writing bits and website bits still to do. All my to-do lists are a little bit scary at the moment, to be honest. But hey-ho, I'm doing what I can. Um, I'm still reading At Home by Bill Bryce, and I'm coming up to halfway through now. It's pretty good. Last night, I was super tired. I actually had a call from 9 till 10 p.m. And I had a half an hour nap before it, and then as soon as it was finished, I just went straight to bed. Didn't do any reading or anything, um, so there's that. But yeah, I mean, I'm still on nine currently reading, and I haven't ordered my next book. I ought to do that. I'm trying to remember to do that in a bit. Um, so yeah, after I finish at home, I have uh, The Magic of Oz by L. Frank Baum to read, which is a buddy read with Joel, Joel Swagman. And then The Battle of Corin by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. And then that's it again. I've only got my next two books lined up at the moment. 
Uh, haven't listened to any of more, more of my audio books since getting back. I normally do that while jogging, but I've just been so busy doing other stuff. I haven't had time to jog. So I need to get back to that later this week. But that's pretty much where I'm at for today. Hello, it's the afternoon. It's 20 past three on Thursday the 24th of March. I have a call at 6 p.m., a client call, which is one of our weekly Q&As. My new bath arrived. It's like a, you know, not an inflatable one. It's like a fold away one. Um, so I'm gonna try that later and have my first bath here, see whether, how that goes. Um, I chat to the neighbors upstairs early because I need to speak to their landlady about uh, the fences. So I think she's gonna give me a ring at some point. Went into town, did some banky bits. That's pretty much all I got for you. I'm still reading uh, At Home by Bill Bryson. Um, as it's nice at the moment, I think I'm gonna go outside in a minute and do a little bit of work out there, just because I can. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I got for you. That's what I, I told you, there's not much. Jalapeno mac and cheese with southern fried chicken style crumbs on top. Fake chicken, obviously, it's all vegan. Uh, with bacon lardons and just deliciousness. I can't wait, I'm gonna go smash this and I've got a big container left. Yo, let's lean back, let's lean back. Okay, it is 25 to 10 on Friday the 25th of March. What's happened today? Oh, I cut and dyed my hair. I don't know if you can tell with my hat on, let's see. So I dyed it brown, it's still a little bit wet. Um, basically close to my natural color. Get rid of the uh, red and I'll just sort of grow it out. And yeah, I cut it because it was down there, so it's too long. Um, so yeah, I did that, I'm gonna put my hat back on. What else did I do? Played some guitar earlier, had a client call. I've been listening to some more Catch 22. In fact, I'm gonna just update my little tally here because um, I listened to it while jogging as well. And I have to note down how far in I am because otherwise if iTunes closes, I forget where I was. But yeah, I'm just coming to the end of disc three of 15. So about a fifth of the way through. Um, I finished reading that Bill Bryson book. I then finished reading The Magic of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Probably a strong 3.5 out of five, not quite a four, um, but it was all right. And I only have one more of the original Oz books left to read. And then I read The Battle of Corrin, well, sorry, started reading The Battle of Corrin by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So I'm currently on page, what? About 50-ish of about 600, so it's a bit of a chunker. Um, but no more books have arrived. I'm actually down to seven currently reading. Three of those are audio books, two are bedtime books. I must be down to six currently reading. Unless it's, oh yeah, okay. Three bedtime books, sorry, three audio books, two bedtime books, this book, and then I have The Winds of June up there, which I haven't got to yet because I need, I need like four more June books before I get to that. So um, yeah, I've got the next Wizard of Oz book on its way to me. So I'll pick that up pretty much when it gets here. Hopefully it'll, it should get here either tomorrow or Monday. So I can line it up after this. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna order the next June book to get that on its way because these are obviously chunkers. Because I'm trying to do order one book at a time and only order my next book when each book arrives. Um, so if I just order, keep ordering June books basically because they're so long, it gives me a decent amount of time with the one book until the next book arrives, you know? Uh, if all else fails, I'll probably bring through as well the Extended Phenotype by Richard Dawkins, which is currently on my bedtime pile. Probably bring that through to my main pile. Um, I'm also reading a Stephen Fry book, Paperweight, which is a book of his essays, which isn't particularly good. But again, I can bring that through to my main book if needed and just not have a bedtime book. Um, if that happens, it just means that when I get in bed, instead of reading, I'll probably do a bit more Duolingo. So that's fine, I can cope with that. I'm trying to put off moving my audio books into main books. Because basically I put them there for a start because I didn't think I'd enjoy reading them as a main book. But also, basically I picked out all the ones that I wasn't particularly looking forward to reading. The ones I could find audio books for. Uh, unabridged audiobooks. I've kept those separate and I listen to those while I'm doing my jogs. And then any ones, other ones went onto my bedtime pile. So that's why I'll prioritize getting through the bedtime pile first. Um, Cause I'd rather still have audiobooks to listen to while I'm running. Although if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, oh, there's the, hey Google, 
Remind me in one hour to listen to the Duolingo French podcast. So there's that as well. I mean, if all else fails, if I do get through these audiobooks and I don't have any more lined up, it just means that when I jog, I'll probably watch YouTube or maybe Netflix or something. Um, probably something I'm not particularly interested in watching. So some just film or whatever that put on as background noise. But yes, that's where I'm at. My band is playing a gig tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I need to get there at. They say, I think it's unloading at four. My band's got a sound check from six till half six. So I might just go at half five because I just need to show up with my guitar and plug in, really. Um, I don't know. I'll see if I hear from the other band members. So we'll see. And then on Sunday, Sabrina's coming round because um, I've given her a little bit of garden space. So we're going to go plant shopping to get some stuff for her little garden. And then we're going to have a barbecue. So that'll be nice. And uh, Monday, just back to work again. It, it, it's it's non-stop, isn't it? Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. I'm just being productive. Let's see, I've got 17 things on my computer list. I've got 8 things on my writing list. And I've got 24 on my tidying list. Um, which isn't too bad. I can basically fit all of those except for, I think, my computer stuff. I can fit them all on one page. So, yeah. I made vegan baked camembert. Yo, let's see how it goes with the dip. Good stuff. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Where is... oh, that doesn't go together at all. I am a vegan fajita eater. Oh, it's gonna be good. Right, I gotta go eat, I'm hungry. All right, my uh, camera ran out of battery, so I've since gone for a shower. This is good because it means I can give you another look at the tattoo, now that there's no grime and stuff on it. Very cool. Um, I don't know whether the text is going to appear backwards for you. Just rest assured it is the right way around on my arm. Um, let me think, what else? Oh, I finished reading that June book. It was probably a 3.5 out of 5. It was just alright. And so I've just started Glinda of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. And that's about it. I, oh, the other thing to mention is I guess I'm just going to keep this vlog going. It's going to be a cheeky two-week vlog. So let's do that. Greetings everybody, it is 10 to 9 on Thursday the 31st of March. Um, oh, let's see, what is new? Oh, I'm tired. I made a delicious mac and cheese earlier. I think I forgot to show you. There's some remnants of it here. It's got this isn't bacon bits in it. Uh, obviously it's a vegan one, so vegan milk, vegan cheese, nooch, nutritional yeast, uh, various other bits and bobs. And then topped with crunchy onion pieces and um, like uh, it's like southern fried pieces basically like breadcrumbs it's really good i finished reading glinda of oz it was like a strong 3.5 out of 5 decent enough end to the original frank l frank baum uh, ones i think i said earlier but it makes me feel as though this is the one it's not necessarily got the best story but it does have the best like life advice to uh, young kids so that was kind of cool and then i found I thought I was still waiting for this, but I discovered it. It had been delivered. It was just like, it was, I had two parcels basically, and they'd um, put an elastic band to wrap them together, but this was smaller than the one on top of it, so I didn't spot it there. But uh, yeah, Hunters of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. This follows on from Chapter House June, so it basically continues the original June series using um, uh, the original Frank Herbert notes. and. It's alright actually, it's better than Chapter House June was so far anyway. Because I've been a little bit dreading it once I found that out. Because I was like, Chapter House June was like, ugh, it was a slog that book. Um, but yeah, it's doing alright. And so I've ordered the next June book as well to keep it going. Because even with that June book there, I've only got six books currently reading. Uh, owned and unread. So yeah, I'm just trying to order June, 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 June. Because uh, I think... I think I've got two more after this, and then it's The Winds of June, which I've got up there. Um, which is why I've been reading this series, to get through to that, you know. So, I'll probably just keep ordering June, and I'll just be reading June books for the foreseeable future. Until I unlock The Winds of June, and then I'll, I don't know, I'll order something else. Um, I'm about halfway through uh, Paperweight by Stephen Fry. It's not very good, it's like an essay collection. Um, but I'm reading that as my bedtime book. And then after that I also have The Extended Phenotype by Richard Dawkins as a possible bedtime book. But it's currently my next main book. Because again, I'm running out. So this is the only real one I've got there. I'm about 
probably about a quarter of the way through the audiobook of Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. And then the, rem the re remaining owned and unread books I've got, I've got the audiobooks for both of them, so I'll probably do that. I have uh, Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien and Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein. And that, those are literally all of the owned but unread books that I've got, so it's good. As I say, I'm on six owned but unread, and I'm currently reading three of those, so... Yeah, so after I've caught up with the Dune and I've unlocked the, uh, is that right? I've currently got one, two, yeah, three of them are currently reading and then the remain remainders, one of them is a spare bedtime. I must have, how many books do I have? Four? No, I must have seven currently reading. I think I've miscalculated here somehow. I don't know. Um. But yeah, anyway, so once I unlock the Dune book that I've got there, which I haven't got to yet, um, I will probably then buy... I'm thinking about buying some Alan Bennett, because some Alan Bennett is just main books, which is great, they can go on that pile, and eventually I will find another one which is just going to become a bedtime book. Like, if it's another collection of his diaries or whatever, that'll be a bedtime book. Um, but it would be nice to get another bedtime book for the queue, really. I don't mind with the audiobooks, eventually I'll just read all of those, and that'll be fine. So, really, yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking aloud here. Uh, I had a man come over today at 9am, which was, I had about three hours sleep, and he came over and he fitted an outdoor tap, which is very exciting. So now I can fill my watering can up from outside. Um, but it also means that when my, my mum and my granddad visit, my granddad's going to bring his power washer, his pressure washer, and I'll be able to attach that to the outside tap and wash my steps, um, which would be another good job done. And I'm pretty much all done with all my computer stuff. I'm not too bad with my writing stuff. I do have like three or four reviews to write. But apart from that, then I can work on... I'm going to be doing a short story for Regina's St. Clair's next anthology. Um, then I've got some memoirs to do. And then I can finally try and write a fucking book. Because I haven't written a new book for like two years. So all the books that have been coming out are ones that I wrote over two years ago. And I finally finished going through editing. So that's where we're at. I'm going to go and watch some YouTube. We'll do some editing this evening. Should be good. All right. Dude looks like Jean Plady. Dude looks like Jean Plady. All right, I'm done. We've got Copperberg Alcohol Free Cider, Rubicon, Spicy Papa Doms. Vegan, chicken, onion, and sun-dried tomato vindaloo, onion bhaji rice, homemade onion salad, and some mango chutney. It's going to be a banger, mate. Oh, hello. It is Monday, uh, 21.45. So quarter to 10 on Monday, the 4th of April, 2022. Um, I finished reading that last June book, and now I'm already on to the next one, which is Sandworms of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Both of them have both been pretty strong, 3.5 out of 5. Obviously this one, I haven't actually read that much of them. Coming up to, I think, I think I'm about a quarter of the way through. Um, but these take place after the main June books. So that's pretty cool because it's like the continuation of the series that Frank Herbert envisioned. Um, yeah, once I finish this, I've got the extended phenotype by Richard Dawkins or the Stephen Fry book that I've got as my bedtime books, unless another book arrives. Once the next June book arrives, I've got that and the book after it all ready to go, I think. So that's good. Um, so yeah, we're going to see with that what happens. I'm currently listening to Catch-22, my audiobook of it. So I'm just at the end of disc 5 of 15, so about a third of the way through. I'm enjoying that so far. It's pretty good. Uh, I've been watching some YouTube. Just catching up with a little bit of filming now. Uh, I had a call today. Tomorrow I have uh, people coming around to replace my windows. Um, so I have them coming around. I have uh, the cleaner coming around. Uh, and I got a call from 1pm to 2pm. I'm also having problems with my toilet again. Um, it's just shitty, the pipes, how, how they work. If if one of the pipes, pipes gets blocked up, then the toilet, the sink and the shower all get taken out of commission, basically. So I think there's something blocking up around about where the shower drains. Um, so I think basically stuff gets kind of stuck down there. And then it does move along the pipes, but it moves very slowly. So... I think what happened before was it moved a bit and then that meant I had enough space in the pipes to flush the toilet and all that stuff. And then I had a shower earlier and it kind of filled up with water then and took a while to drain. 
and now it's back to taking a while to drain again. So that is a pain, but it is what it is. Um, but obviously while my toilet's out of action, my cleaner can't really clean the bathroom. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, Sabrina came around on Sunday uh, and we had a lovely day. So we went to a couple of shops to get some plants and stuff. She's done her little patch out in the garden now and it's looking very cool. I painted the shed. So now there's basically the windows to be replaced. And then after that, we need to replace the fence. Uh, which we're now going to do the whole fence rather than just the bit that, blown, that blew down. And then once that's been replaced, I can then paint it. I've already painted three panels and there's every chance all three of those panels are just going to be taken down and new ones put up. So I can't really do any more painting of the fence now until we've fixed it. Um, but that's fine, you know. I've got a few other little garden bits coming. I've got some new um, uh, plant pots arrived today. I've got a couple of like rectangular ones coming that I can use to make an indoor herb garden. Because um, I already have my outdoor herbs. So that would be nice. Just make it easy to cook. And I think that's all I've got for you. Um, this evening, I mean, the people coming around about the windows are coming at 8.30 in the morning. Which is like four hours after I normally get to sleep. So there's that. But um... Yeah, I'm just going to try and do what I can to keep the house kind of tidy. I'm assuming because it's going to be for this window here behind this, my computer desk. So I'm probably going to have to move the desk all out. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's just a pain because I've got all the leaves nice and tidy. But I, whatever. I'll be able to do it. So that's why I think when they come around I'm going to ask if they can do upstairs first. Because then I can get my desk back in place. And have that all set back up again to carry on with work. So while they're doing upstairs, I'll probably just sit on the sofa in here, um, working on my laptop or whatever. So, and then obviously downstairs comes afterwards. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, that's where I'm at, and this seems like a good place to leave things. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.